We continue with our discussion on chest radiograph and this time we are going to discuss pattern and signs. You know increasingly when we discuss medicine today we are supposed to use standard terminology. So this part of the talk basically refers to what standard terms you should use while describing a lesion in the chest. There are a lot of terms which are used by people homogeneous, inhomogeneous. In this I would like you to refer to a review article which is called Fleshner Society recommendations for terminology in chest radiograph and CT. So currently the same terminology uh, applies to a chest radiograph and CT and this is the last statement document of the society which came out in 2008 and is broadly the document which is followed all over. So most of the terms that I quote the definitions would you know take account the Fleshner society statement. Some lesions they do not refer to and we discuss them often so I will be using those words also. So what is an abnormality? An abnormality could be that there is a normal structure which is changed in appearance. For instance, the diaphragm is raised, the hilum is enlarged or when do we use a term opacity means increase in density, something which is whiter and transradiancy or lucency means decrease in density. We first start with abnormal opacities. As I said, lesions can be pulmonary and extra pulmonary. Now what are the standard terms which you are supposed to use when you see a pulmonary opacity? You will either label it as a consolidation or an airspace opacity, collapse, nodule, masses, cyst and then the diffuse lung diseases terms. We will see the description of each of these terms. Similarly, when we do extra parenchymal lesions, plural as well as chest wall pathologies, simulate pulmonary pathologies, we have already dealt with the localization part of it. Now we are discussing use of the words and you will see as I told you combination of correct word, correct location and clinical you will have a diagnosis in the end. What is an airspace opacity? Now the term itself is explanatory that the alveolus which was air filled got replaced with something which is usually of fluid density. So it can be blood, it can be exudate, it can be pure water. But for the x-ray it will look similar which is that these opacities are have ill defined margins. You cannot make out the borders. They have irregular shapes, they coalesce which is